There's a growing campaign tonight to try to reduce the number of scaffolding contraptions that crowd the sidewalks of New York City. You see them everywhere. They protect New Yorkers from unsafe building conditions, but too often building owners just keep them up and don't fix the real problem. It's cheaper that way. But now a move to force landlords to fix the problem fast. I would use border Carolina Lead live on the Upper East Side with the story. Carolina. Well, Bill, some residents feel like this does not exactly scream welcome home. They feel like the different building owners are just dragging their feet and not getting the work done. Residents say there's no way around it. It's an eyesore, often pitched as a temporary safety precaution during necessary repairs to aging buildings. Jane Foss's scaffolding at her Upper East Side apartment building went up eight years ago. No work has been done. When it's coming down, is anyone's guess. They say that the bricks of the facade are loose and with the vibrations of the subway construction, they might fall and kill someone. Foss says obviously safety is important, but waiting nearly a decade for brick pointing work to be done is outrageous. Many New Yorkers like Jane have long complained that scaffolding attracts homeless people, trash, illegal activity, and hurts businesses. So in response, Councilman Ben Callos is proposing a law requiring time limits. I put forward a proposal that would give landlords three to six months to do the work. They wouldn't be able to stop that work at any point for more than seven days. And if they don't do the work, the city needs to step in and do the work ourselves and make bad landlords pay. But Frank Ricci with the Rent Stabilization Association says this is an ill-conceived proposal. Given some work costs hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions, and it takes time to get financing and construction plans in place. The bridge work is up there to protect people walking under it. Yes, it's an inconvenience. Yes, it hurts businesses on the ground level, but it's a safety issue, pure and simple. All right, so we got a statement from the building department, and it says that it is looking thoroughly into this proposal, that this law dating back to 1980 was put in place with the sole purpose of protecting the public. Reporting live on the Upper East Side, I'm Carolina Lead, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.